If there's a person to talk about ambient librarianship or how I learned to stop worrying and love my job. How many librarians do we have? Raise your hand. Awesome! All right. Uh, my name's Devin. I'm a uh, programmer librarian at the University Library. And, uh, oh, I just realized I can look down here too. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a story, and then I'm going to talk about um, challenges in libraries and some of the exciting things we're doing. So once upon a time, uh, we were gatekeepers, and we had information in tiny boxes, and we had tiny drawers full of tiny cards, and we filtered things out to people in really weird ways, and they were kind of afraid of us. And then scientists built the internet, and it was confusing, and it didn't have tiny boxes with tiny drawers, and we couldn't really organize it, and it kind of frightened us. And then later, people started building tools <laughs> that made it really easy to use. So then average people could find information in ways that we were having trouble with. And this was really, really frightening to us. So um, to add insult to injury, people started writing about how this new way of not organizing information was actually better than organizing it, and that our brains were actually rewiring to observe information in this new way. We were basically screwed. Um, so I went to library school in 2004, and I dropped into this world where people were trying to figure out if the profession was obsolete, or if we were going to have dra to like, drastically change everything we were doing. And uh, yeah, a lot of ways being a librarian really sucks. Um, we work with really obsolete programs and tools. And if we do our jobs well, People don't notice, because we make things easy for other people. Um, on the other hand, what we do all day is help people find information they need to make decisions, which is really awesome. And that's, I think, the core of what we need to hold on to while we move forward. Um, so right now, our big problem is not helping people find information, but helping people filter the huge piles of information they have to deal with every day. The problem with this is that the tools and formats and all this stuff that they need to figure out, we're also trying to figure out. Um, one thing you probably notice in physical library spaces is that libraries are adapting to what people need them to be. Um, they're becoming much more open. They're becoming much more about having people come and do things there. Um, we're kind of doing the same thing. Um, you may have heard of Library 2.0. It's mostly so far been about adopting technologies and Web 2.0 stuff to do things in the library. Um, it's also partly about how changing how we do our work. There's one way we could do this. We could decide to like rebrand and like talk about synergy and leveraging and ROIs and all that stuff. <laughs> or <laughs> we could stick to that core mission, which is helping people get information. Um, I did a little word cloud of, these are, these are a bunch of titles of librarians currently. And you notice that the emphasis is not on specific tasks, the emphasis is on management, um, pushing bits. We do a lot of electronic stuff now. Um, I asked some people on Twitter, at people who are librarians, and I said, what do you do? What's your main thing you do? And I couldn't really organize it, so I made another word cloud. And um, I got this huge range of things. People were telling me about projects they work on and stuff they manage. It was really cool. Um, one of my coworkers said that I read email all day. And it's true. <laughs> Librarians are still sitting behind desks, but we're checking email, and we're programming, and we're managing stuff. We're not stamping books or shushing. <laughs> so we have this balance we're trying to maintain, maintain now. We're trying to have this sort of authoritative leverage, which is great for advocacy, and we, can, we do a lot of that stuff, but we also have to start working with people instead of for them. So one of the main tenets of what I'm trying to get at is the idea of working collaboratively. It's a lot better than gatekeeping. We don't have to be experts, and we can actually maybe get credit for working with groups of people instead of just filtering stuff to them. I have a friend who talks about um, these things as having a tiny librarian in your pocket which is kind of creepy, but also, <laughs> I think also really a good idea. It's the idea that we need to be everywhere. And um, some examples of that, these are some, this is the shameless plug slide. Um, these are some of the projects that are happening at the University Library. We have a lot of, oh, oh no, the thing changed, sorry. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff going on. We've got a bunch of uh, collaborative things. 
So my point basically is this. Librarians are not dying. The profession is not dying. We're not going anywhere. We just have to change the focus of what we're doing. That's it. Thanks a lot.